Welcome to our podcast, where we uncover the most important and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we'll discuss the upcoming Orionid meteor shower and share how you can catch these shooting stars. Orionids, the meteor shower originating from the famous Halley's Comet, are currently visible in the night sky. Sky gazers are in for a treat this Halloween as the spectacular meteor shower will soon reach its peak, creating a beautiful spectacle. The Orionid meteor shower will see several bright meteors shooting across the night sky at an extremely fast pace. It is considered by astronomers to be one of the most beautiful meteor showers to grace the skies. As per NASA, the meteors enter the Earth's atmosphere at an astonishing speed of about 1,48,000 miles per hour at their peak. The debris left behind creates a beautiful trail that lasts for several seconds and sometimes even a few minutes. You can also be treated to spectacular fireballs if they move at an even faster speed, NASA says. The Orionid meteor shower started on September 26th but will reach peak activity this weekend specifically on October 20th and 21, according to the American Meteor Society. Experts say you should be glued to the sky from midnight to dawn to catch the best view. After peaking on these days, the meteor shower will continue to rain down till November 22. However, the intensity of the shower will keep reducing in the coming days. During its peak, it can produce 20 to 30 shooting stars every hour. However, this can also go up to 50 to 75 sometimes. This happened between 2006 and 2009, when the Orionids sent shooting stars equal to those produced by the Perseids. Clear and dark skies are the ideal scenario to spot the meteor shower. Try and go far away from all the light pollution. Keep your eyes glued to the skies and wait at least half an hour, because it will take that much time to start seeing them. Do not use binoculars or a telescope as they might hamper your view. The meteor shower derives its name from the Orion constellation, but experts suggest not to look towards it if you wish to see the shooting stars. A nearly full bright waning gibbous moon is currently shining, which might make it difficult to spot the shooting stars, NASA says. However, you should still be able to see some of them moving at 41 miles per second in both the northern and southern hemispheres. The most famous comet to visit Earth has an average cycle of 72 years. The last time it was visible was in 1986. It reached its farthest point from the Sun on December 9th last year and has already started its return trip towards us. However, the wait is quite long as it will reach us by 2061. It will come much closer to Earth than it did last time. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for listening. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.